I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios. We are here at AWS reInvent 2024. And one of the things that we keep talking about is enterprise adoption of AI, a very big topic. I am joined now by an expert in the field to say the least. I'd like to introduce you to Ashish Mehta, the Vice President and Head Data and AI at Infosys. Thanks so much for making the time. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. How has the conference been free for starters? Conference has been great and a lot of new announcements from AWS and they are a great partner of us and I think these announcements will actually make our partnership even more stronger. Is there one in particular you're really excited about or enthusiastic about? I really enthusiastic about the AI Foundation Solutions. Uh, basically whole, uh, whole uh, family of AI Foundation Solution that Swami rolled out uh, yesterday. That was amazing and that would be very, very useful for us as well as AWS to take it to our customers. Well, let's talk about the customer base because I think when we look at enterprises in terms of adoption of AI and the challenges that they're facing, uh, Infosys is uniquely positioned to tell us what you're seeing in the space. Can you give me um, just a, a snapshot of what's going on in the industry? So this is this is a very interesting question. While there is, uh, while we all see that uh, the value of AI or promise of AI, but at the same time, the executives actually are seeing this AI as a next industrial revolution and they are thinking about building AI-driven products and services to drive new business transform or drive their business transformation as well as reimagining their business. But, but not everything is right. There are a whole bunch of AI happening, a whole bunch of AI POC is happening, but not much is going into, into production. If you, uh, if you look at, we actually, Infosys did a, a recent survey. We interviewed about 1,500 executives across, uh, across Americas and Europe, and we found that Almost majority of them actually were not happy with the, with the AI initiative they are doing, while the AI spend is actually increasing. So that was something very interesting. And what we found that 25%, uh, less than 25% of the AI POCs are actually going into production. So this was a, this is becoming a huge challenge for them. And the main reason for them, they lack the foundation, the AI foundation, which covers all the five dimensions, which is strategy, uh, uh, the strategy, the the governance, the talent, uh, technology, as well as uh, data. And while there are challenges in all five of them, data is actually becoming one of the biggest challenge. If you look at the universe of data, the data is, was not only the mainframes, uh, or the traditional mainframes, transactional systems, ERP uh, systems, even now you have new set of data with machine data, audio files, video file, unstructured data coming in those formats. and and even for that matter, user-generated data, email and others, none of this data is actually fingerprinted. None of this data is actually has a necessary metadata and, metadata and semantics to be able to drive AI to make right, right decisions from a responsible AI perspective to be, to, to be compliant, to be, uh, to be secure as well as uh, uh, follow the right ethics and privacy rules. So this is becoming a huge challenge and we are leaving individual A, individual POCs, individual uh, use cases to actually drive this. And when you do that, the, uh, if, if the individual use cases are going to address all these five dimensions, the total cost of ownership is going to go very high and there's no ROI left in the AI. And that's what the enterprises are struggling with. Which, interestingly enough, when you talk about uh, the, the sort of money left on the table, and that very study you're referencing, this, this interview process that you did with all these C-suite executives, showed 95% are interested in spending more money. They're not scaling back on getting into the AI space, but right. they need to make better use of their money. So how can Infosys and AWS help fix this problem you've identified? Absolutely. So, so uh, what? So this problem is actually getting solved in the industry by Infosys, two, two brands that we have launched in the market. Number one is Cobalt, uh, and, and the second is Topaz. Cobalt is Infosys AI, uh, sorry, it, it, Cobalt is cloud-first Infosys brand, which is basically helps build the foundation for AI. And Topaz is Infosys AI-first brand, which allows a, which is actually, uh, which actually comprises about 12,000 different assets, solution, and domain-specific solutions, and also, uh, also our experiences, expertise, and learnings from within Infosys as well as with our with our clients. So these these solutions are actually helping us build a necessary AI foundation for our uh, for our clients, whether it is uh, strategy, governance, talent, security, or data. And with this foundation, we are able to address many of these challenges that are coming. 
taken, uh, if I take a simple example of one of the solutions, actually which we are building in partnership with, with AWS, which is AI Workbench, it leverages Infosys AI services for that, it, 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 it leverages AWS services to roll out those solutions. And this solutions actually allows to build the foundation, necessary foundation from data perspective as well as AI perspective. Using this solution, uh, a AI a domain user can actually seamlessly create AI solutions in less than two or three weeks. The complete definition and deployment of the solution in two to three weeks with this foundation. And this is something which we have taken to all our clients along with AWS. Let me ask you finally, if you could offer words of advice for a company that's uh, watching this interview, who maybe is still feeling a bit uh, trepidatious at the C-suite level, what advice would you offer them from your perspective? So, I think the advice that I will offer to them is that have a right strategy and a right value office to start with, so that you are actually measuring each and every uh, each and every AI initiative of yours. You are making sure that it has the right ROI being there. It is it, it is delivering the value throughout the life cycle, and this is where the Infosys Foundation of Topaz, built through Topaz, will actually help them to lay it out for them. We actually did it for one of our clients, which is in a retail customer. We we used Topaz to build this whole end-to-end -end foundation for them. The foundation was actually delivered in as little as three to four months. And post the foundation, the domain specialists were able to roll out AI use cases in as little as two to three weeks. Just so basically we could transform uh, uh, transform domain engineers to become AI, uh, do, uh, domain engineers to be citizen AI engineers and citizen AI specialists. So somebody like you and you or anybody else can actually use that foundation to build AI solutions. That is a very, very good point. And also, uh, it, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention those se sequential small wins really add up over time, right? It can feel very overwhelming in the space. Uh, Ashish, I really appreciate you coming down and speaking with us today. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Steph Strickland. You're watching GeekWire Studios.